Good morning, everybody. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was Chew Valley and Cheddar. And today we've come to the historic market town of Stone the Old in the Cotswolds. is the highest of all the Cotswold towns and villages and it rises 800 feet from sea level. Which is quite high up. Yes, it's very high up. It's on a big hill. That's why it's called Stone on the Wold because Wold means hill by all accounts. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> but it's, it's meant to be the greatest market town in all of the Cotswolds and it was reported in one day that they sold 20,000 sheep here. That is a ridiculous amount of sheep. sheep. <laughs> in this little town, that's phenomenal really. But we're going to have a walk around and see what there is to see. Yeah, let's have a news. Yeah, come on. We're walking up one of the alleys, or tours I think you call it, um, leading up to the market square. And they used to um, herd the sheep along these alleys. They're very narrow and very windy. But they used to do it so they could count how many sheep would be going to market that well, day. Well, not many can get out of the time. They are really narrow. It's really yeah. narrow, actually. <laughs> Getting narrow and narrow. Yeah. They must have bowed their way through the sheep. It gets thinner and thinner as we go on as well. It's hard to believe that they used to bring thousands of sheep up through yeah, it. Yeah, I bet it stunk. Okay, so I bet it did. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have the greatest sanitation in those days, did they? Yeah, it must have really smelt badly. Oh, it's so thin. Yeah, it's really narrow. So behind us is St Edmund's Hall. It was originally built in 1877, I think. Yeah, I think you said that's what it was, yeah. Um, and it sits right in the middle of the market square, which does actually cut it down in it size, because it is a massive square. It is a massive square. It doesn't look as um, big, but um, it, was, it was built because um, the bank, the town bank, shut down, and they had loads of unclean money. So they didn't know what to do with this unclean money. They couldn't find the owners, so they basically built St Edward's Hall. Which is really cool, really. What a yeah. cool thing to do with all the money. Yeah, for the community. And nowadays it's a museum and a library, I think. So. Yeah. But, yeah. But it's got the town, old town fire bell on as well. Yeah, which um, they got donated, didn't they? Yeah, and they had to build the, the, a new fire bell because they used to ring the church bell for it and the vicar used to get stroppy, so they had to build one. <laughs> yeah, so that's why the tower on the top looks, looks different to yeah. the architecture. Because it's gothic, it's a gothic yeah. building. Yeah, it's gothic, yeah. And it's got the statue of St Edmund on the front. Um, by the door, you can see all the bridal marks from where they used to put all the horses. Yes, by the shoe scrapers. Yeah, by the shoe scrapers, because this place just used to be full of animal waste. Uh. <laughs> they really grim. <laughs> so they always have to scrape their shoes off before they went in any buildings. There's shoe scrapers everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So it must have been grim, must have been at one time. The old days, mm, lovely. Mm, nice. <laughs> So we're walking around the market square at the moment, it's still on the wall, and it's all surrounded by quaint little local shops. Yeah, it's pubs and hotels and a bit of everything really. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a pretty little town. Very quiet, very subdued. Yeah, lots of, lots of cars, not a lot of people, but lots of cars. It's all beautiful Cotswold stone again, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you can tell it's of the part of the Cotswold, kind of with the honey coloured brickwork. Kind of yeah, it is. It does make the buildings look lovely. So the door that we're stood in front is, they say, the most photographed door in the whole of the Cotswolds. It is, yeah. It's the door um, on the church of St Edward's in the Stone on the Wold, and it's called Yew Tree Door due to the fact that it's got two trees growing either side of it. And that's the facty bit. The cool bit is, it's J.R. Tolkien's basis for the Gates of Durin from the Lord of the Rings. And uh, you can see why, actually. I, I believe this one. Yeah, it does. The, the two yeah. trees are either on either side, and it really does look like it. Yeah. So it could really genuinely have been his inspiration, I think. But the only way you can get it is if you know the average word for friend, so, which we don't know, so we're not ready. <laughs> we're too tall anyway. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. No. <laughs> So 
So behind us is the pub called the Porch House and it's reputedly the oldest pub in England. Yeah, there's a lot of them though, isn't there? Yeah. A lot of pubs claim to be the oldest pubs in England. But this one's been carbon dated, I think it was the beams and the ceiling, back to the 10th century, so it is pretty old. It is old. Um, but yeah, um, also there's a 6th century fireplace, so say in the dining room, this has got... Um, Rooms. Yeah, sort of etchings in everything. Carvings. Which they say were put there to ward off evil spirits and witches, so... Yeah, well, interesting. Witches, witches used to do that because once you marked an area, if a witch marked it with a rune, no other witch could use her powers there. So, so perhaps a witch lived there once. So perhaps a witch lived in there once. But that, yeah, that's where they marked. And she shoved an old shoe up the, the chimney as well to ward off evil spirits. So it's got quite a superstitious yeah. backstory to it. But it is an old pub. Unfortunately, it's closed today. Otherwise, we'd have gone in for a drink. I could murder yeah. a beer as well. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. During the English Civil War, um, there was a major battle and it ended in the market square of Stone on the Wall and there was many fatalities and injuries. It was supposed to be an absolutely horrific battle, so horrific that the blood flowed down the streets. And the street we're walking up now is called Digbeth Street and that's Old English for Duck Bathe Street because allegedly the ducks were bathing in the blood, it was that deep. Nasty. Which is, that's horrific. But there is actually a, a plaque in the, the churchyard yeah, to, commemorate, wall, to yeah. commemorate the battle. But yeah, a horrific battle that the blood flowed that deep. Horrible. Yeah. So that ends our walk around Stone the Wold. I really enjoyed it. Full of history. Yeah. Full of horrific history. Yeah, some of it wasn't very nice, was it? No, it was good. But a nice place, nice shops. Yeah, it was nice. Very pretty. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was still in the world. Where will we be seen next? Win and subscribe and find out. <laughs>